story tonight is this. More details about the unexplained death at Splash Kingdom in Canton on Sunday. Viewers have contacted us about their safety concerns at the park, and those who knew 19-year-old Emmanuel Organfua are trying to make sense of everything. Here's KDK's Annalise Como. The weekend services at Redeemed Christian Church of God were wrapping up. We were together on Sunday. That's on that 28th. He was on the drum set. After the service, we shared jokes, we rubbed minds together, we, like father to son, we talked, and uh, they left, and I left from my house. That would be the last time Pastor Femi would laugh and talk with 19-year-old Emmanuel Ogunfua. When I got to the hospital, the doctor called me beside and said, and said well, this gentleman cannot make it. After a visit to Splash Kingdom, he passed away from what has only been described to us as a medical emergency. Pastor Femi and the congregation are leaning on their faith for comfort. I'm very sure he gave his life to Christ. As we are talking, I'm very sure he's in heaven. Now East Texans are voicing their concerns after Ogunfuwa's death. And just a few days earlier, a 13-year-old boy died at the Shreveport location. My heart sunk. I was immediately just sick because I immediately thought that could have been avoided. I truly feel in my heart it could have been avoided. She believes the Canton Park is understaffed, and she worries about the strict rules that didn't allow her son to wear his life jacket on any of the slides, including the volcano slide where Ogunfuwa was found. That particular ride was one of the ones that I fussed with them about asking him, well, you let my son wear his life jacket. He really wants to go down that ride. He hasn't got to do anything else here. Pastor Femi has some concerns too. I started hearing some issues and news about the water park that some days ago, a couple of days ago, something like this happened too. Then, then the authority needs to do a little bit more investigation about the safety of that water park because we can't afford to be losing our young ones. We contacted Splash Kingdom for further comment and didn't hear back. Annalise Coble, KETK News. And